All right, welcome back everyone to another video. So today we are going to be discussing the adage, um, as a dog returns to its vomit, so does a fool return to their folly. Okay, and this is about why doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result is the definition of insanity, right? Okay, so well, let's uh, let's analyze this. What does this mean, right? As a dog returns to its vomit, so does a fool return to their folly. Okay, so like if a dog vomited because of something it ate, if it returns to the vomit to eat it, it didn't learn anything, right? It's trying the same thing over and over, trying to get a different result. It's going to throw up again because whatever it was was poisonous, okay? Or it was unfit to be ingested in some way. Maybe that particular dog has an allergy or something. Who knows? Okay, it's a metaphor though, because the other part of that adage is, so does a fool return to their folly. Okay, what does this mean? So how many times in your life, and it doesn't even have to be you, it could be anybody, in anybody's life, but probably your own, have you done the same thing over and over and wanted things to change? Expected a different outcome? Expected that, hey, maybe this time it'll work? Now, I will say, there are instances to where you do want to try the same thing again if there were some sort of circumstances to where you're like, oh, okay, I understand what's going on here um, and the way I modify it. So you try the same thing again with a bit of a modification, which actually makes it not the same exact thing, or maybe it wasn't the right time for it, okay? That is besides the point. That's not what we're talking about. Obviously, sometimes you want to try again because Maybe it didn't work that time, but we're talking about habits here, okay? We do that a lot, okay, on this channel. We're talking about habits, ingrained automatic responses and scripts we keep playing over and over, right? So that means something like, okay, I am going to work and I've been picking up extra shifts, uh, doing other people's work, taking on more work than my station um, is supposed to get, for my boss or for the company or X, Y, and Z, okay? And then what might happen? Well, did you get a raise, okay? Did you get some sort of reward? Did you get something out of it, okay? Did you get a bonus or any of those things? So the point here is if you didn't and you're continuing to do, take on a bunch of other work and continuing to people please or be a yes man or whatever the case is and that's not working especially over a year's time okay and if you haven't seen any improvement or any uh progress towards a goal you might have like a raise okay that would be a fool returning to their folly that over that amount of time you should be able to tell a little bit which way the wind is blowing Okay, y'all see what I'm saying? So that is a, a dog returning to its vomit. Now, if you are making progress because of these things that you're trying, great. Then there's no need to do something different for that specific aspect of your life. You can take anything though. It doesn't have to be your work, okay? It can be your dating life, all right? Are you dating the same kind of girl? Are you going up to... Uh, going and finding your girl or your guy at the same kind of place. Is it the club every time? Is it the bar every time? Are you trying at work every time? Is it the same kind of, you know, uh, circuit that you're moving through every single week? You go to work, you go here, you go home, and in that same circuit, you're looking for the same, you're looking for the love of your life. It could happen, but if nothing has changed, okay, think about changing up where you're looking for the people, right? Don't return to your vomit, as it were, okay? You could take this uh, same thing with friendships, okay? Um, you can take it, let, let's take it with this, let's take it with friendships. I recently uploaded a video here on sloth and unreliability and flaking and saying one thing and doing another, okay? I just recorded something on that. So if you have a friend who is very flaky, who never really seems to have the right amount of time for you, or who makes plans and then breaks them constantly, okay? You allowing it to happen, you not saying, hey man, look, this isn't okay, I've noticed this trend, is there something going on? You not like putting your foot down, that would be returning to your vomit, okay? So 
You can find it in different parts of your life, okay? So, as a dog returns to its vomit, so does a fool return to their folly, okay? Um, maybe it's in your, you know, your career in that, man, every year goes by, I think that I'm going to enjoy this job more, I think I'm going to get the next raise or promotion or something, and then then I'll be happy. Uh, I'll have more, I don't know, leadership okay a little more street cred inside of the workplace and that'll make me happy or i'll get a little bit more money or i'll have a little more responsibility or whatever it is and every year goes by and some of the things happen but it doesn't make you happier do you see what i'm saying that is a good indication that it's time to change the script okay one of the bad things about trying the same thing over and over is it gets ingrained in your brain that that is just what we do it's not even that there's another option it's that is the option that is the only option that is what we do that is the reason for your existence it literally tells you over and over and that's why it becomes so habitual you, you just do it and you almost don't even have a choice or so it would seem because if you look back on a lot of the habits that you have okay whether it be your job whether it be dating your friends okay maybe you maybe your eating habits okay maybe your spending habits if you look back on a lot of them okay you will see an interesting trend is that you look back on it and be like man i spent this money here and here and here and here and here and here and i allowed these things to happen in my relationship again and again and again repeatedly even in, over the course of the uh, uh, over one day you're like in this day these things repeated this many times okay you'll start to see that, man, I wasn't even aware that I was responding to those things the same way. It was just so automatic. I was just like, yeah, okay, yeah, I'm at the, I'm at the mall. I'm going to buy a new pair of shoes this week or a, new, a couple of new shirts or something. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. But if you're having financial trouble, a lot of it goes, goes with this runaway spending, okay? And it gets to the point you don't even realize it's happening because your brain thinks that it's thought through it. Like, it thinks that, it makes you think that, like, yeah, I've thought through exactly what I'm spending today, but you really haven't unless you sit down and take stock of what's really going on, okay? I went to the mall. Did I buy some, um, did I buy some Starbucks or some, uh, some boba tea? And then did I go and buy a shirt or two or some pants? And then did I go to the movies? And then did I stop by the food court? Okay? Did I buy xyz for my girlfriend or boyfriend or for my kids to, so when i go home i have something for them too and then when you start looking at it you know did i start did i stop by a, a vending machine and get a soda or a snack or something those little things that nickel and dime you they become so automatic that you don't even remember what's worse is when you have subscriptions to things now having subscriptions to things is not in and of itself a bad thing but it's so automatic it's easy to lose track of is what i'm saying okay so what are we talking about here? In order to not return to your folly, in order to break the habit, first you have to see that the habit is there. Man, I don't, I spend too much. Man, I drink too much. Man, every night I come home from work, I drink a whole bottle of wine. I don't even know, I don't even know where it goes. You know, I'm, I'm sitting there watching Netflix and I'll have a glass of wine and then it's the whole bottle or it's a beer and then it's four every single night and it happens like that all the time or maybe it's like candy like it's ice cream i'll eat uh a little bowl of ice cream and then it ends up being half of the tub you see what i'm saying so the first thing to do is to identify that there is an issue and then just take a step back outside of yourself okay and 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 you can a lot of things if it's attached to some money you spend and a lot of things will be you know, whether it's you're eating too much, you're spending too much, you're going out too much, or whatever it is, okay, with habits. They'll be tied to your uh, credit card or your debit card spending. If you're swiping and swiping and swiping your card, just look at it. Just be like, man, in this day, I have seven different charges on here. I thought I only bought one thing. You see what I'm saying? Identify the problem. And you see it on there. That's the first step. The second step is, okay, now, what do I do? That is the opposite of what I am doing now, okay? If you keep doing the same thing over and over, you're going to keep getting the same result. 
And as I said, the issue is a lot of it is habitual. It is programmed in. It is a script. Your brain just keeps running because it's gotten used to doing it. Your brain is a mechanism that likes to run scripts like that because it saves energy. If you had to think about every single little thing that you did every single day, you would be exhausted by the time, you know, by half the day was over, you'd already be exhausted. So it's good with some things, but every now and again, especially if you've got some pain in, your, in some area, or there is some area where you're not ex uh, experiencing the growth or the flourishing that you want to, take a step back. Are you returning to your vomit? accidentally because it's easier than a lot of people think to go back to the same thing to like keep getting billed for something that you don't even remember you might not even use anymore okay so if the first step is identifying it the second step is okay now we need to separate ourselves from those things okay got to keep a tighter budget whether that is just on your money or on your friends and stuff, friends are great, but sometimes, you know, they'll drag you into, okay, we gotta go out every Saturday night and every Friday night, and then we're, we're not gonna just go there and get one drink. You go there and get one drink, then your server comes back around or the bartender is like, hey, would you like another one? You're there, you're having fun, you're feeling good. You're like, yeah, yeah, let's do another one. And that turns into three, and that turns into three beers and some nachos, right? And then that turns into three beers, some nachos, and oh, okay, let, let me pick up a shot for you because it was your birthday recently, or it is today, or you got a promotion, or you picked me up last time, or this, right? And then, and then, guys, what happens? You end up leaving the bar instead of spending six to ten dollars on a beer. You spend over fifty on three or four beers, a drink, a shot, and what? And food, right? And maybe covering one of your buddies. Okay, so what I'm saying is these things, you can they can run away on you and you think like, oh, I'm going to go out and I'm just going to have one beer, one beer. Never underestimate the power of peer pressure, okay? And it's not even that people are trying to be like, yeah, yeah, you got to do what we do. It's that you see all of them, they're around having fun and you have that, hey, well, when in Rome kind of mentality, right? Like, hey, I'm here, um, well, might as well make the best of it and, and be like everybody else. People might not even be pressuring you, but peer pressure can happen just by being near them. Like, that's that power of osmosis, right? It just rubs off on you because it's near you. That's why they say a lot, you're going to be financially the average of your five closest friends, or the five people you take advice from the most often, or whatever. I mean, you probably heard about that. It's the same thing, like, with your mentality. If you're going out all the time, and you have financial issues... Here's another big one that ties in with going out all the time. If you have sleep issues, you're not getting enough sleep, you're like, man, I get six, five, sometimes four hours of sleep almost every night or every other night because we're going out a lot, okay? That is returning to your vomit as well. And it might, like I said, run away on you. So the important thing is to take stock. You find out that you have the problem. You take stock about how you can mitigate the problem. Okay, obviously we need some time to go out and have fun and everything, but if you're like in debt, okay, the worst thing you can do is hang out with a bunch of people that have no more than you. I guarantee you, here's the thing, the people who are not in debt or are managing their debt very well, very maturely, the people who have investments, okay, the people who their leisure, like going out and stuff, is paid for by a cash flowing investment or something like that they actually probably do not go out as often as the people who they go to work and then they already have their paycheck spent by the time it gets there right by the time it gets there they get maybe one two three thousand dollars in their paycheck and 80 90 percent of it is gone already because we're going out because we're letting subscriptions run around on us because we're doing these things and we're getting a bunch of new clothes and stuff because all of our friends are doing it there's a time and place for that sort of thing but if you're feeling the pain of oh debt oh i never seem to have any money oh look around at the people that you're surrounding yourself with because that's the biggest one of all the as social creatures humans look to other humans and are influenced by other humans probably better than damn near anything 
okay? So you might have to cut down your time with them. And if they find that to be an insult, they're probably not your, the friends that you want in the first place. They'll understand if they're good friends. They'll be like, yeah, man, dude, money is tight, dude. I need to get out of, I need to get out of um, <laughs> going to the bar so much, going out to eat so much, buying whatever so much. Okay, And I use money as just an example. It's because everybody, for the most part, has money and needs to manage it and understands that. This can be in relationships. It can be just in friendships in general, whether you're spending money or not. It can be in your eating. It can be in... You know, are you going to the gym enough, okay, to lose weight, to maintain a weight you want, to maintain a certain muscle mass that you want? It doesn't mean you have to be huge or anything like that, but, like, if you're looking for a result in something, anything, and you're not getting it, it's time to take stock of, are you returning to your vomit? Okay, are you a fool returning to your folly? All right, you at that job that you hate every day and you think that tomorrow is going to be better. Maybe it's time to look for a change, like seriously look at it, because your time gets away from you quickly when you get home and you're exhausted, you know, your brain is out of all of its energy for that day, so your executive decision making and analysis of situations is very much compromised. So it's easy, right, <laughs> to keep doing the same thing, all right? So remember, as a dog returns to its vomit, so does a fool return to its folly, return to their folly, okay? So it's time to take stock of everything you got going on, okay? If you got pain in some area of your life, if there's not as much progress as you want, check to see if you're returning to your folly, okay? Yo, if you um, if you have some specific situation in your life or something, even if uh, even if you just got out of something, even better, you know? post a comment down below. Put it out there, you know, it's like a badge of honor. Like, yeah, man, know exactly what you're talking about. I had this issue, I really buckled down and tackled it, and now I don't have it. And that would be inspiration for not just you, but for other people too, to see that they could get out of it, okay? So remember to like and subscribe, and we will see y'all on the next one. Have a beautiful day.